And then also, it's very hard to scale AI. Uh, what I, uh, the example I give is I was, I was approached by a, a European banking agency, and they were talking to me like, hey, we want, we want basically two RAG databases that are interfacing with a model, but they can't be aware of each other. They can never be aware of each other. And they're like, that's possible, right? And at the time, I was like, actually, no, because the KV cash, they, they, share, they would ultimately share a cash. So they thought they were kind of outsmarting things by having two different RAG databases. But I said, well, you're saying you want no record. Like, there's no cross-pollination. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, well, no, there is cross-pollination. It's happening at a caching layer. And that was kind of a deal breaker for them. They were kind of back at the drawing board. Uh, and then I was told about this project. I had to call them up the next day. and like, hey, I actually think I have a solution for you. And that's exactly one of the things that we're doing here is that we're able to break up that caching and all the different components that make up the LLM into their own containers that then can be scaled. And I'll show some examples of why that's advantageous uh, for our DevOps platform engineers here who are, or even AI engineers here who are 